Lucy rescued. Here is Lucy at the pound, where we found her. She needed to be rescued. Her time was almost up. We filled out adoption papers and brought her home. I showed Lucy around the house. <coughs> then I showed her our yard. Lucy heard the neighbor's dog barking. She hid under a bush and would not come out. Even when I held out dog yummies. I finally got Lucy to come out from behind the bush. I carried her to my room. That's when the howling began. By the time the evening came, the howling was so loud, I put on earmuffs. Dad thought our new dog was lonely for other dogs, so he brought her a mirror. Lucy cried to the dog in the mirror. Mom cooked Lucy a special meal, and I offered her treats. But food didn't stop the howling. Then I had an idea. Maybe Lucy needs a new bed. Mom bought a nice, soft, comfy one. Wah! Ooh! Ooh! Woo! Cried Lucy. Dad took Lucy to a dog psychologist. His specialty was nervous dogs. The doctor spent an hour talking to Lucy and doing tests. Then he talked to Dad. Play classical music, he said. Or lullabies. Or singers singing sweet songs. We played the soft music. Lucy howled along. Wah! Oh! Oh! Roo! Mom 
mom said, Lucy's just not happy here. Let's try for one more night. If Lucy does not settle down, we'll have to return her to the pound. I had one last idea. Lucy, I think you need a friend. I gave her my favorite stuffed animal. Lucy snuggled with my toy. The howling stopped, and we all slept really well. In the morning, Lucy jumped on my bed and grabbed another one of my toys. I yelled. It's mine! Lucy held my toy in her mouth and would not give it up. During the day, Lucy moved her two new friends all around the house and played doggy games with them. I gave Lucy a few of my not-so-favorite animals to add to her collection. Mom and Dad bought Lucy more toys. Right now, Lucy has four dogs, two bears, two kittens, and one giraffe. Before going to sleep at night, Lucy collects all of her furry friends and puts them in her soft bed. When one is missing, she searches all over for it. You'll find it tomorrow, I say. But Lucy just says, Wah! Oh! Oh! Woo! Okay, okay, I'll help you, I tell her. I look downstairs. Stairs. But I can't find her toy anywhere. I climb into bed, hoping that Lucy will forget about her missing toy. But she does not. I feel Lucy tugging on my blue blanket. Lucy, you found your giraffe! Now we can go to bed. <sighs> Good night, my perfect puppy. My dog thinks I'm a genius. When I was five, I said, I'm an artist. I need to paint and draw every day. 
Now I'm eight, and I still paint. Louis, my dog, likes to watch me. Sometimes he even helps. This morning, I'm busy working on the painting of a tall building. First, I paint a big gray shape. Louis watches. Then I draw windows. And a door with a handle. I paint the bushes and leave the bottom of the picture for last. Then I ask, Louis, what do you think? Is the picture done? Louis barks, no. I know what Louis wants. He wants to be included. So I add him to the picture. I ask again, now am I done? Louis barks, yes. I tape the picture to the wall and we look at it together. I ask, Louis, do you like my painting? Louis barks and runs all around the studio. He wags his tail and kisses me. I give my picture a title. My dog thinks I am a genius. Then it's time for me to go to school. Louis is sad and a little mad. He does not like to be left alone. While I'm gone, Louis takes a long nap. I leave him a bowl of water and toys to chew on. He is a good dog and usually does not get into any trouble. When I come home, I expect to see Louis waiting at the window. But today, he is not there. What has Louis been up to? I call, Louis, Louis, where are you? No answer from Louis. I call again, Louis, are you in my studio? I'm coming to find you. Louis barks. messed with my paints, you're going to the yard for a timeout. Louis runs to me and jumps up and down. 
He wants me to see what he has done. I follow Louis to the other side of the studio. I see an awesome painting. Louis, you have talent. You're an artist, just like me. I give Louis' picture a title. My dog is a genius. Waking early, down I race. Bouncing, panting, licking face. So excited. Time to play. We'll have lots of fun today. Who's that dog? Fetching is my favorite trick. Bringing back a ball or stick. Branches, logs, or half a tree. No stick is too big, you see. Who's that dog? River, pond, or neighbor's pool. Any place that's fresh and cool. Leaping in a big blue lake? Feeling soggy, need a shake. Who's that dog? Playing with a pretty shoe. Licking first, then time to chew. No big deal. I'm sure it's fine. Finders keepers, this one's mine. Who's that dog? Digging out the deepest hole. Scratching dirt just like a mole. Dug this on my very own. Big enough to hide a bone. Who's that dog? Walking past the bathroom sink. Feeling thirsty, need a drink. <gasps> Head down quick, that's how I roll. <gasps> Slurping from the toilet bowl. Yeah. <sighs> Who's that dog? Sitting by the table leg. Asking's naughty, must not beg. Puppy, I say, pretty please. Can you drop that piece of cheese? Aw, who's that dog? Napping on my favorite bed. Open mouth and snoring head. Counting cats is fun, it seems. Paws do wiggle in those dreams. Oh, who's that dog? Letting out a stinky toot. Not to blame, and looking cute. Huh? Yuck! How Ugh. dreadful! Who did that? Must have been the naughty cat. 
<laughs> Who's that dog? Finding squirrels in the park. Chasing them until it's dark. Left and right, in here and there. Climbed up high. Uh, that's not fair. Who's that dog? Looking back toward my rear. Spotting something wagging here. Grab it quick now. Must not fail. Silly me. <laughs> it's just my tail. Who's that dog? Sitting quietly on the rug. Getting ready for a hug. Waited for the day to end. At last, I'm with my favorite friend. That's my dog. is lost. Max's puppy is lost. She was here, and now she is gone. thought. Where am I? Max was here, and now he's gone. Max looked everywhere for Puppy. Under the bushes, Behind the trash bins. And near the sandbox. But he could not find Puppy anywhere. He walked home alone. even eat dessert. In the middle of the night, Max had a scary dream. He could not go back to sleep. Max got out of bed and sat down at his desk. He made Lost dog posters. Lots of them. I lost my dog. Her name is Puppy. She is small and brown and friendly. Have you seen my dog? I really miss her. She is not just an ordinary puppy. 
She is my best friend. If you see my puppy, please call me. My name is Max. My dog is Puppy. And she looks like this. Max hung the posters near his house and near the park. Max walked home. Puppy wandered in circles, but she couldn't find Max. I'm sniffing everywhere, but nothing smells familiar. Why doesn't Max come and get me? Ah, I'm tired. Mm, I'm hungry. Which way to where I last saw Max? Oh, Max was sad. Oh, and lonely. Oh, he waited for news of his lost dog. He waited and waited. Ring, ring, ring. Then <gasps> the phone rang. But the call was for Dad. It was not news about Puppy. When the doorbell rang, it was Max's friend, Lucy. Max told her Puppy was lost. I'll help you look for her, said Lucy. OK, said Max. for Puppy in the park. There were lots of dogs in the park. But none of them were lost. I have an idea, said Max. Let's go to where I last saw Puppy. We can just wait there. Puppy was tired of wandering. She said to herself, I'm going back to the spot where I last saw Max. Max waited for Puppy. Puppy waited for Max. When Puppy picked up Max's scent, she took off in the direction of the smell. Woof! Woof! Oh! Oh! Max recognized Puppy's bark and ran to meet her. Puppy, said Max. You are found. If you don't have books, what are you waiting for? It's a kid safe, ad free library full of so many storybooks that are brought to life. Ask your grown up and start exploring more fun stories like these. You have to 
go and ask for books. Enjoy the specialties of this app right here. Go on, come on, go off. <laughs> Thanks for watching. For more stories, try the Vux app for free today.